Nobody saw these flicks coming. From an MCU darling trading his Avengers buds in for some furry friends to a 21st century take on a buzzworthy horror classic, these are just some of the most surprising, unexpected, and straight-up bizarre movies hitting theaters in 2020. Dr. Doolittle is a character with a weird history. The physician who could talk with animals was created by author Hugh Lofting in letters written home to his children from the trenches of World War I. The character would go on to become the star of a series of popular children's books set in Victorian England and published from the 1920s through the 50s. A number of adaptations appeared over the following decades, including cartoons, radio plays, stage productions, and a lavish 1967 movie musical starring Rex Harrison. When modern audiences see the name Doolittle, however, they probably think back to the 1998 movie starring Eddie Murphy, which became something of a franchise all its own, spawning such intriguingly titled direct-to-DVD sequels as Tale to the Chief. Now, The Good Doctor is returning to the big screen in the form of, wait for it, Robert Downey Jr. The animal cast will be voiced by a star-studded lineup that includes Rami Malek, John Cena, Emma Thompson, Octavia Spencer, Tom Holland, Selena Gomez, and Ray Fiennes. We know exactly what you're thinking. Where in the world did this one come from? We don't exactly have an answer for you, but after over a decade rocking that Iron Man suit, maybe RDJ just needed to lighten things up a little bit. It is the destiny of all horror franchises to be rebooted. That's been the case for pretty much the entire 21st century so far. Since the dawn of the new millennium, we've seen remakes and reimaginings of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and multiple stabs, pun intended, at a new Halloween. Please, dear God! Please! 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 Halloween! Another long, dormant series seems ready for similar treatment. Candyman, released in 1992, was based on a story by Hellraiser creator Clive Barker and starred Tony Todd as a supernatural killer who haunted a housing project in Chicago and represented the specter of racial and class inequality. Also, bees came out of his mouth. It's weird and socially conscious and freaking awesome. But she said his name the last time. Candyman. She turned out the lights. <laughs> And it's perfect material for the shockingly prolific Jordan Peele, who is producing and co-writing a new Candyman slated to hit theaters in 2020. Bloody Disgusting reports that the film, directed by up-and-comer Nia DaCosta, will be a spiritual sequel that returns to the now-gentrified neighborhood of the original. Casting remains unannounced, but Todd is angling to be involved in some capacity. One of the most intriguing cinematic developments of 2018 was the launch of Sony's new generation of Spider-Man movies. Having successfully partnered with Marvel to bring Tom Holland's live-action Peter Parker to the MCU, the studio has set out to keep their own stake in the Spidey brand alive with a slate of spin-offs and animated titles. The first two examples, Venom and Into the Spider-Verse, proved that they were ready to explore a variety of unique and vastly different facets of the webhead's corner of the Marvel Universe. Work quickly began on sequels to both Venom and Spider-Verse, though no firm dates for those follow-ups have been officially announced. Sony has, however, confirmed a 2020 release for Morbius, starring the quote, living vampire who has faced off with Spider-Man in comics since the 70s. Nope, we didn't see that one coming either. Daniel Espinosa is on board to direct, with the script by Dracula Untold writers Matt Sazima and Burke Sharpless. Jared Leto will star as the titular Bloodsucker, with former Doctor Who actor Matt Smith appearing in a major role, and True Detective star Adria Arjona as love interest Martine Bancroft. Coming to America was released in 1988, at the height of Eddie Murphy's superstardom. Murphy, who co-wrote the story, stars as Prince Akeem, heir to the throne of the fictional African nation of Zamunda. Determined to escape an arranged marriage and find a free-thinking bride to fall in love with, he travels to New York City with trusted aide Semi in tow. It was a box office smash, capping off an explosively successful decade for Murphy. I've warned you. I'll be forced to thrash you. F*** you. After a period of rumors and rumblings, a Coming to America sequel has been officially announced and set to be released in 2020. You heard that right. Akeem is coming back to America after 30 years, and this time he's searching for his long-lost son. Original supporting players Arsenio Hall, Sherry Headley, John Amos, and James Earl Jones are all rumored to be in talks as well. Blackish creator Kenya Barris is penning the screenplay, with Craig Brewer taking the director's chair from the original movie's John Landis. Not only are Roald Dahl's stories enduring works of literature, 
They've also been adapted by a staggeringly eclectic lineup of filmmakers. Steven Spielberg, Tim Burton, Wes Anderson, and Danny DeVito, to name a few. In 2020, Robert Zemeckis will join that lineup with a new take on The Witches. This 1983 children's novel tells the story of an orphan boy who goes to live with his grandmother, a retired witch hunter. The pair must battle an international coven of witches poised to turn England's children into mice. The Witches has been made into a movie once before, in 1990. That production had a stellar array of talent, with acclaimed director Nicholas Rogue at the helm, Jim Henson on board as producer, and a delightfully wicked performance from Angelica Houston. The film was received enthusiastically by critics, though Dahl, enraged by alterations to his story, called it, quote, utterly appalling. Zemeckis Witches is already shaping up to have an impressive pedigree of its own. Not only is the man behind Back to the Future and Forrest Gump taking on writing and directing duties, but Guillermo del Toro and Alfonso Cuaron are producing, and Anne Hathaway is attached to star as the Grand High Witch. The Witches will enchant theaters in the 2020 Halloween season. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.